Hello again. The 4BASIS-U master controller uh, can also interface uh, and control a Blackmagic MultiView 4. And uh, these um, are quite useful and they can go up to um, UHD 4K. And I, I have one here and uh, I can use it for monitoring, displaying four sources at the same time. You can see here there's four inputs. And you can have on-screen labels or on-screen VUs, put some border up here. You can also have tallies and all sort of stuff. But we can control all that through the um, through this um, uh, 4x6 Master controller. And um, you can also use it as a, um, as a vision router for monitoring your cameras while you're doing CCU. I'll show, that, show you that a little later on. But first of all, I just want to show you the main controls we have for it. If we go into system setup, we can see um, down the bottom here we have um, Master View 4. You notice these other units are greyed out here at the moment because I don't have a, a um, allocated video hub. But um, we we do have an allocated Master uh, Multi View 4, so that's why it's not greyed out. And I can select that, and we come up with the menu screen. Now at the top of the screen, you can. It, tells you the uh, the name of the device now this is actually the name that actually comes out of the multi viewer 4 when we connect to it this all this information is supplied as part of its data now also there's um, a sub name here which you can set um, both on this unit here and on the um, control panel that ATEM do for the uh, multi viewer 4 you can actually set a device name so if you had multiple multi viewer 4s you can give them their own unique names and in the case of when you're doing CCU, if you're using them as a CCU router, as I can do here, you might have four CCU positions, each with four cameras, and each may have four multi-view four, so you can give them their own unique name, so you know you're getting, not getting them crossed up. Um, yeah, having said that, um, what we have here is very similar to the smart scope. We have boxes that we can select and, and change. Now, on the MultiViewer 4, this is a, a 4K device, and we can, in fact, have um, <clears throat> uh, multiple output formats. Um, you can see here, I'm, because I'm running 50i, um, so it's 50i, but if I had a bigger monitor, and in fact, using the smart scope, this is a 4K smart scope, I can actually um, set this thing, set the MultiViewer 4 to, for, to any of the formats, um, there's some um, 60p. You can see it'll it will read that and come back here, and you can see it's actually allowing all the um, formats to be um, changed. And every time the format changes on the smart scope, it kind of like does a reboot, I guess. Um, and um, so I'll just put that back to um, um, 50i. But as in as with the smart scope control, if you hold your finger on the Alt button. Sorry, on the shift button as you're touching, it'll actually go in the reverse direction. And you can also select it um, on the selector here. And I can turn up and turn down the select, turn back if I want. And um, uh, and I can turn it off. This, this uh, light underneath the adjuster knob indicates that it's invoked. So... Um, now the next uh, items we have are the video source. Now, um, currently, um, I can um, I'm, again you can you can touch the um, the source, and what this does it gives you the ability to go through all four sources, but it also has the fifth one, where if you keep on going through, you end up going to the four-way split, and you can see we're up the four-way split. But if I then go to, it's the top top left input um, that was shown in the four-way split. Um, that's the um, the bottom uh, bottom left. There's the top right, and then you can see that's actually coming out of a um, a um, standard def signal, and subsequently there is a control down here which we'll show you in a moment, where you can um, turn it widescreen or or um, anamorphic or sorry or uh, what do they call it? Um, Anyhow, they call it something. Um, so, um, so if I put that back on to, say, four-way split, there's our four-way split, and these, these were the four sources that you, you could actually you see. 
Um, now underneath that we have the same thing with the um, audio. This has this has an audio um, that it can put into its output feed, and whatever you select of any of the four sources will be what will come in the up come out of the output feed. And you can see here they are here. But here's an added little bonus. Um, what you can't do on the device, or what you also can't do on the Blackmagic's control panel, is that you can't AFV. So as you're changing your video, <coughs> excuse me, as you're changing your video, um, you can actually switch AFV, AFV on. <coughs> And um, so okay, I'm dying here. Um, and uh, as you change the um, the sources, they they all change together, except for when you get <coughs> when you go to quad split, the audio there's an audio doesn't have an input for for, <coughs> for four way split, so it'll stay on the last selected um, input. And again with the audio, um, we'll just turn that off. Um, again with the audio. <coughs> you can use the um, use the rotary knob to switch up and down the sources, and of course, if you're on AFE, I think don't know if I wrote this, did I? Yeah, yeah. The, the audio, the video will follow the audio as well. So if you change the audio, the video will follow it as well. Um, come out of there. Um, the um, the actual buttons themselves. So we'll just go back over to quad split so you can see. Um, so there's there's our four-way split, and as I said, we have the ability to turn on and off this grey border, the labels, the audio um, VUs, and there's also uh, a tally, which I haven't done any interface to yet, but uh, when I get there I'll include it in the user guide. Um, so here you can turn on and off each one of those devices, so if I turn on and off border, I'll just keep turning on and off. You'll see here, it's that's off, and that's on. So you can see it's going on and off. Uh, the same with the labels. Uh, if I turn the labels off, they're gone. Turn them on, they're back. And the VU meters um, are um, oh, there you go. They're off. Um, and of course, when you're in, when you're in, um, if I just go back over to, um, say, source top right, so now it's got VUs. Um, you can see um, there's the VUs, and I can turn the meters off. And you can see the label still on. I can turn the label off and turn it on again. Um, but the other the other thing that I want to show you here is that you've got this wide. Uh, this is a selection you can do on the Blackmagic control panel. You can also do it here. So you can see that's uh, putting the the um, wings on. So you can switch between the two formats there as well. So they are the um, that's the basic the the main control um, here. You can actually um, and you can change the name of the. Um, uh, the device you can't change the main unit because that's what it, that's what it is. But the actual device name itself, you can actually change that um, by just holding your finger on Alt. I don't know that I can do this with one hand. Let me just see if I can get in here. Go hold my finger down on the Alt. And without it, pushing the buttons. Uh, oh, bit of a juggle going on here. We do that, and then we can then click on that, and then we go into this. This is the um, the text entry, and we can change the name to whatever whatever we want, um, and that'll save that name back in onto the uh, MultiView 4. So when you power everything up up again, it keeps all that sort of stuff. So you can actually give lots of different um, lots of different um, devices different names and and what have you. Um, so I just want to now quickly talk to you about using this as a router. Um, and as I said, when, you, when you're using a video hub or using the aux buses of the ATEM, sorry, I thought the thought the thing stopped. Um, when you, well, yeah, you can you can use your preview buttons to switch between your different um, cameras uh, on on your monitor. So if you have a multi viewer four, you can actually use it to do that as a router. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the system setup. And I'm going to just come back out of here. I'm going to go into 
the IP addresses and I've got to disconnect the multi viewer as a multi viewer by just altering its IP address because if I try and come into here and allocate the I know the, the multi viewer 4 is, uh, ends up in, in one, 181 what I normally do is to disable or stop the CCU controller from hunting for devices. I just, if the first IP address number is different to the to the four, four by CCU controller's number, it will not search for for it, and and subsequently speeds up the boot up and all that sort of stuff. So I just turned it to one. You know, normally I'm 192, so I just change it to 191 or 193. But if I try and make this 192 um, as as their router controller. It'll come up and say there's an IP conflict because the MultiViewer 4 over here is using the same IP address. So I'm just going to just disable uh, disable the MultiViewer 4 as a MultiViewer, and um, I'm then going to go and make the Video Hub the same address as the MultiViewer, and it's going to then bring it in and initialize it as a router. So we've done all that. It should now tell me that. Um, it needs to reboot the system, which is what it's doing now, and um, it's where we have it play a little bit of elevator music. Um, and as it's booting up, you can see it's going through all the different um, different um, checks and whatever it has to do. It's now connected to the ATM, so I can now uh, press a um, any button, and now we're into the into the normal operation. And coming back here, you can see. If I can show you the monitor and the buttons, you can see as I press a um, a camera button, it's actually selecting that on the multi viewer, and um, and I've got it turned on to toggle mode, so it returns to the four way split when you take your finger off the button. So there it is. That's the fourth input. You can see there's the label showing here. It's the bottom right. If I hit the third camera's button, that's allocated to the top right. And subsequently, as I'm pushing each button, it's selecting each one of these to come up as full screen. So if I hit pay, uh, button number two, you see there it is, that's up there on, in full screen. Um, and when I take my finger off, it returns to the four-way split. And again, we have the, the happy little, you quick, double quick, double click quickly. Um, it then will not toggle back and gives you gives you that shot up there gives you that that selection up there without toggling back so it bypasses the um, the toggle function um, so subsequently uh, when you're in when you're in um, router control using the multi the four the multi viewer four as a router um, you can still go into the multi viewer settings and still do all your adjustments but you've got to remember that your routing is now taking priority but you can still turn on all the rest of the business that you have up here change all the settings and that but the moment you use a preview button it will override whatever you've done in here so um, I went through that pretty quickly and um, another video following very shortly